take this. Thank you. I cannot do eight more weeks of this. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. The Black Friday haul. I'm doing it for the vlog. I crave dirt. Homemade pancakes. I got a lot of work left to do, huh? Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am looking like literally splendid at the moment. I look like a hot freaking mess, but that's okay. We are obviously in baby girl's room if you can't tell. It is 3.50, I just got off of work and I'm about to attempt to build the dresser all by myself and I'm a little nervous because it looks kind of complicated but at the same time like I just want it done. I don't want to have to ask Jared to do it. I don't want to have to wait for Jared to do it so I just want to try myself. I'm already out of breath but we're gonna do it. This is the fit. I got my Target bodysuit on with my pregnancy band. This Christmas sweatshirt from Walmart I think and then my Ugg dupe slippers. This is the appropriate building attire outfit and here is the dresser that we're gonna attempt to build. It's two boxes. What? Am I not giving you attention? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is upside down, but this is what it looks like. It's like this like pretty natural wood color, which is like kind of the theme of her room. And so I'm so excited. There's a ton of pieces and I've already kind of went through like this manual and like read all the instructions, but it looks pretty, pretty difficult. Like that's a lot of pieces. So we're gonna attempt this. Super nervous because Jared doesn't know I'm doing this and he's probably gonna be mad that I'm doing this. But I just hate asking him to do things because he's always so busy and when he has a day off, I feel bad for asking him to do stuff. But like I want to get this room done so I can start just getting it organized because literally we're down to single digit weeks before she's here. And that's terrifying that literally nothing is done. Like I'm not worried about like the crib being built or anything cause she's obviously not gonna be in the crib, but like, she has a zero clothes in the closet. She has, hardly has any bottles. I don't think, I don't just, I need to figure it out, see what we have, see what we still need to get and just get organized because my stress is going up with this room not being done day by day. So we're just gonna try and work on it ourselves. So when I read the manual thing earlier, it said that my first piece is gonna be the top, I think. Yeah, it's the top. So we're like building it upside down and obviously the top piece and the bottom piece are the longest. So I think I need to start with this long section back here. You're in the way, You're always in the way. Here, take this. Thank you, go. <laughs> I don't even know how to freaking open this. <laughs> You are just so nosy, aren't you? Okay, so I got all the pieces laid out and separated into like the different piles that they are. Um, I know this is my starting piece. And then I know these are my next two pieces. I'm already out of breath. And then there's all my screws and my hardware that I need. That I, need. I do need to get a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver. And we can start this bad boy. I'm already so out of breath. And my back already hurts from leaning over. But we're gonna push through and do as much as we can. <sighs> I need my water. drink break but look how good I'm doing I'm doing so good I'm squishing my stomach with that what's new right I too is this you this just says 12 oh yep 12 can't have my soul let my heart turn stone guess I gotta say it twice it ain't my fault every little thing got a price that's what I thought that's what they taught yeah I'm gonna take my chance to lie and drop mm -hmm. you know this ain't Time for the two of us, ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about you. Oh, no doubt, I'm my thinking. I'm so confused. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, I need to eat When our hearts get back on track, when the stars line up, that's that. 
Beautiful, beautiful. I'm rocking this shit and I don't even care. Please, I pray that I didn't just jinx myself. But I'm doing the damn thing and your girl is proud. And miss, you better be proud of your mama. I am so glad that you guys can't smell through the camera though, because I smell so incredibly, <laughs> so incredibly bad. I just wanna go take a shower. I got a lot of work left to do, huh? I'm already on step 10 out of 20 steps. I'm halfway. I'm also out of breath just from screwing those nails or screwing the screws, whatever. All that. You had real privileges for this. All snap. Now you're getting time out because you hit it where my heart is Got me going deeper than Amari when that ball snap. Heard you sold your soul on Macari, got your call lacking. Wow. Now I'm next door at the party while you jaw jacking. You know it's the shot and the rarest in the raw fashion. I'm still trying to figure how this all happened, huh? You know this ain't the time for the two of us. Ooh, I this is gonna take a while. I have 48 of these bad boys. You know this ain't the time for the two of us. Ooh, I Okay, I've come to a stopping point because I've been at this for like two hours and I'm finally to a point where I don't really understand the instructions, so I'm just gonna let Jared do the rest of it tomorrow. But I'm very proud of myself. I got literally majority of it done. That's all built, all the drawers are built. The only thing left to do is do the slides on the drawers so that they obviously can slide in and then to do the front pieces like to pull the drawer open but i'm so proud of myself i think it looks so freaking good i'm obsessed with it we got it off of amazon my parents ordered it for us but i'll link it down below because so far i really really like it i did mess up when i was being all cocky and talking all that you know good things about myself i was literally putting the piece on backwards so i had to like unscrew those five screws and then like just actually unscrewed four of them left the middle one screwed and just like twisted it around but so far that's the only mishap that i've noticed that i've done i'm so excited Ugh. but KU's playing right now. I'm hungry. I need to make something to eat. And I also need to shower because I've never smelled more disgusting in my life, I swear. So that's what's on the agenda for the rest of the evening. And my back is hurting. It's definitely quitting time, you know? also alerting me on my Apple Watch. It's 7.45. I have a little bit of leftover sweet potato casserole that is in the microwave right now. And then I just made some carrots and some chicken. And that's gonna be my dinner. Oh, and for dessert, I wanted to make my date hot chocolate. I don't know if I still will, cause I'm just kind of ready to be in bed at this point, but we'll see. I have never felt so clean in my life. I don't know what it was about building that damn dresser, but I literally never sweat like that, even when I worked out. So, I literally smelled so bad. But now I feel so fresh, so clean. I can't wait to see the look on Jared's face when he gets home. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna vlog his reaction, just because, honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna be awake when he gets home. We'll have to see. But if he doesn't like notice the boxes around the corner, I might just wait and show him tomorrow, I don't know. Yum, smells so good. Of course, the second I sit down to eat and watch the game, it's halftime. <laughs> but I also decided I wanted some hummus and some pretzels as well. That just sounded very yummy. It feels so good to sit down with a backrest and I hope it's gonna feel even better to lay down in bed. Last night, I broke down and started crying when I was laying in bed trying to go to sleep just because it's getting to the point where I literally am not comfortable laying down at all and it's just getting so frustrating not being able to like sleep at night and Jared I think was just like he didn't know what to do he kept asking me what what can I do like do you want more pillows do you want like he just didn't know what to do and I didn't know what to tell him because I didn't know what to do either but I was just so frustrated and I was like I cannot do 
eight more weeks of this because it's just so frustrating not being able to sleep at night. So I'm hoping with my back hurting the way it is, it's just gonna feel so good to lay down and I'm just gonna fall asleep super easily. I hope it's not gonna make it more difficult, but I do feel like getting the new sheets and the new comforter has made sleeping so much more better because I just feel so cozy in there and feel like I'm in like a little cocoon and stuff. Can I help you? I think I'm gonna see if I can't call and get into the chiropractor tomorrow because my back hurts so bad and I've been saying that I'm gonna do that for a while now and I just keep forgetting and it just keeps getting pushed off but that can also like help with me sleeping at night maybe so I really need to remember to do that. It's 8.20 and I was gonna get ready to go lay in bed and since I didn't give you an actual taste test in my last vlog, I thought I would have a little, like, I don't know what to call these. They're not really date Snickers. They're like date pretzels, but they're so freaking good. They're addicting and they're just the perfect little sweet treat at the end of the night. This is what it looks like. It like froze when I took it off the wax paper, but I just eat the chocolate around it. Yum. And the sea salt that I put on top of it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the last vlog. There's really no recipe to share. I just saw a Instagram reel and kind of just winged it. But the sea salt on top makes it. It's so freaking good. You do have to like let it sit out for a second because it is frozen. I guess you don't have to keep them in the freezer. You can keep them in the refrigerator. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make, but it is kind of frozen. So you have to like let them out, sit out for like a few minutes before you eat them. But mmm, they're so good. I love them. Ranger, you don't get none. No, you can't have none of this. I'm not making my date hot chocolate just because I don't want it. I really don't even want this. I've already had two today, but I'm doing it for the vlog. And these keep me from snacking on like unhealthy stuff too because I wanted to eat like cookies and ice cream in there, but I'm like, oh, I have my date pretzel things and they're so much healthier for you. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm gonna go lay down in bed and hopefully I can relax and not feel this back pain anymore and maybe i'll be up when jared gets home and i'll show him what i did today hello you guys i am popping in from the future um i don't exactly know where i'm gonna include this in the video yet but i totally forgot while i was vlogging that i wanted to give you guys a black friday haul because i went a little crazy on black friday slash cyber monday like i mentioned in my last vlog and I just figured it would be nice to like share some of the things that I got. Not that they're like on sale for Black Friday or Cyber Monday anymore but like if you guys were looking for this stuff you guys can get some ideas or even like some Christmas ideas for others. I don't have exactly everything here because some of it is already like put away. Some of it hasn't even got here yet or you know that kind of stuff but so far I've loved everything that I got. So the first Black Friday purchase that I made was are new California King comforter. It is the Bedshire California King. Actually, this comforter is still 45% off at the time of me recording this right now, and it is the day that I'm posting this video at 126. So if you are interested in this comforter, hop on it now because it's originally $90 and it's on sale right now for $49. I think when I got it, it was like 30 something, so even cheaper than that, but still almost 50% off, that's good. But this is the comforter that we got. It is seriously so freaking soft and so comfortable. I love it so much. I love the beige color of it. Jared doesn't love the color. Like he doesn't mind it, but he gets like a hint of pink at times, but I think that's just like our bedroom with the lighting and stuff. So if you have like weird lighting, just keep that in mind. But it also comes in literally, I think over 50 colors. Maybe, maybe it's 28. So it comes in like 28 different color options, which is so crazy. And we, like I said, I got the California King, which is on sale right now for $49.99. So go check it out. It's so soft and it's like one of the sustainably like climate friendly comforters. So that's always a plus. <sighs> I'm out of breath. And then to go along with that, I had originally ordered organic cotton sheets, but I sent those back because I wasn't a fan. I really liked them the first night. Then after that, I just couldn't do it. Like I just felt itchy when I was laying in them. So I ordered some new sheets. Again, they are a sustainably recognized brand. So that means they're like made with less chemicals and stuff. Um, and these are also still 40 25% off. They're originally $60 and right now they're on sale for $32.99. These sheets are so freaking soft. Like I literally just feel like I melt into a cloud when I lay in my bed now and getting a new comforter and a new sheet has helped my sleeping situation so much because obviously I'm almost 
eight months pregnant and sleeping is just not the most comfortable thing you know so getting new sheets and comforter has really I feel like helped that but this is a six piece set they look gray in this picture but we got white but that's what the sheet sets come look like they're moisture rich moisture wicking and temperature regulating 16 inch deep pockets which is really important for us because Jared has so much things stacked up on top of our mattresses that it gets hard to like pull the fitted sheet over the mattress um, and stay all night and so far we haven't had a problem with these they rise up a little bit but they don't like come off like our other sheets have they're hypoallergenic so you get Four pillowcases, one fitted sheet, and one flat sheet, and that's $32 for a California king size. So that is crazy. I would definitely hop on this deal if you are looking for new sheets. And again, these come in a few different colors. We got taupe, blue, gray, white. I can't really see. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and fly through these. I'm on my lunch break right now. So... We got some Christmas lights. If you're like me and really, really wanted to get the viral Home Depot Christmas tree, but one, you don't really wanna spend the money, and two, I think they were sold out everywhere. I just looked on Amazon and tried to find lights that mimic that viral Christmas tree, and I found these. They came with a remote. This is the remote for the Christmas tree that we got. It has eight different like flashing or whatever settings, um, which is really fun. These are 500 LED lights and the strand that I got was 164 feet which is so long before we got these we would have to put like five or six different strands of lights on the tree and they were just old lights and they didn't look good or whatever and I only had to buy one strand and one strand is $27.99 right now but it also has a 10% coupon if you want to get those I'll show you the tree too in a second but they have different like option of lights you can get the only thing that I would change about these lights is we got the cool white lights which I don't hate but I feel like I want for a Christmas tree anyway like the warm like kind of yellowy not pure yellow but like in between yellow and you know the white lights so maybe I would get the warm lights if I had to buy them all over again I would probably get them but Jared really likes the cool white lights so I don't know I just went with those but this is what the Amazon page looks like that's a ton of freaking lights and they're so tiny and cute and let me show you my tree that's what the tree looks like with the lights on it you can see them it's kind of hard to see during the day because obviously it's not dark outside or in here but I really really like the lights and you can like this has a timer so you can like choose how long you want it on and then it like comes on at night and then it stays on for however long you choose to put it on and then you can dim the lights if they're too bright Ugh, I'm out of breath but yeah those are what we got and I think if I were to do it again I would get these ones just because they're like are more traditional Christmassy but you can also get like blue and white um the multicolor red and green so if you are like me and we're not lucky enough to get the viral Christmas tree check these lights out because they're actually pretty cool and they can also go outside too they don't just have to be for a Christmas tree they are water resistant so they can go outside and then next I don't have these with me because they are in the dirty clothes right now because I've worn the heck out of them I got some maternity leggings and I do know that I got these for $13 at the time. Um, right now they are 22% off, originally $24, but right now they're $19. But I just got these black maternity leggings and they are so comfortable. Like I said, I've been wearing the heck out of them. They're just easy to like move around and lay down in and rest in and stuff. So I love them. Definitely would love to order some more. Um, they have a gray pair, which I don't think I would ever wear gray or a navy pair. So if I ordered more, I would just get the black. But it's like, do I need two black maternity leggings for two months or less of my pregnancy left um probably not and then i showed you guys this in my last vlog as well the wine colored vest and as you can see this is not the wine color this is the brown color i ordered this unfortunately before black friday but i didn't even get it until cyber monday it was on sale but it wasn't on sale as much as my wine colored one which if you watched my last vlog you saw that but if you didn't this is the wine color one and it's so cute 
cute. I'm actually so glad that I got this. This is originally $36.99 and I got the wine one for like 19 something. And then I got this one for 31. So it was a little bit off, but not as much as the Black Friday sale. I should have waited a day because I literally think I ordered it like a day or two before the Black Friday days sale started. But I love the brown color. I know it's like not a lot of people's vibe. What the heck just happened? <clears throat> a lot of people's vibes, but I love black and brown together. So I cannot wait to wear a black shirt under this brown vest. I just think it's the cutest freaking thing. I love these vests. I now have two of them, obviously, and I probably will be purchasing more. They have a lot more colors as well. They're just so fun for the winter, you know? The next thing that I got is the Rock Form Air Vent Mount, which I showed you in my last vlog as well. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. It comes with this magnet thing. And then this is the mount that you put into the air vent in your car and you can just click it right on there and it like stays so well with this magnet. They do have bigger ones of these that, that you can sell that don't have to come with this that like hold really well, but I didn't get the bigger one. And this one's not on sale anymore, but it's $19.99, so not terrible. But they do have a lot of like variations of that. So if you are looking for like something to mount your car, mount your car, mount your phone, in your car definitely check out that brand it's called rock form it's a very good brand next is actually something i got jared for christmas and he's already seen these he's already worn them but my brother had a pair of darker ones of these and he wore them on thanksgiving and i thought they just looked really sharp and really good and something like i think jared would look good in because he loves hey dudes and these are hey dude boots actually which i think they are so cute and the reason why jared already knows and already has them is because i wasn't for sure if this is something that he would actually wear and i wasn't gonna like spend money on something that's just gonna sit in the room and he's not gonna like wear or anything so i wanted to make sure that he liked them or if not then I needed to like send them back because hey dudes are not cheap. Although these right now are still the same price that I got them. They're 25% off, originally 94 and I got them for 71. And I will say when I did show Jared the picture of these asking if he would like them, he said he wouldn't pick them out for himself. He just didn't think he would like them. But when I got, when I got them in on Monday, he tried them on and I think he actually really, really likes them. Well, I know he likes them, but I think he actually really, really likes them. And hey dudes are one of his favorite pairs of shoes like they're just so comfortable and I just figured it would be an elevated look for him to wear to like church without him having to wear his boots all the time but yeah these are a win they come in a few different colors but I really really like this color on him if you have a husband a boyfriend a brother a dad that like hey dudes or just need like a fancier elevated boot look try these out because these are good I think what threw him off was like this part but honestly you don't even see this part when he has his jeans on I love them and he loves them too so if I didn't mention it everything's gonna be linked down below and I've got every all this stuff off of Amazon I don't know if like the original hey dudes website is like running this sale or anything but on Amazon as of today the day that I'm uploading this they're still 25% off and then next I got this bad boy it's actually a phone tripod which is so nice because the one that I had is so old and is literally a piece of crap but you just like pull it like this and it extends to like six feet these legs pop out I don't know how to do it without like fully extending it six feet right now and I don't want to do that maybe I will just for you guys Whoa, see, these legs pop out and they're pretty sturdy. This is where the phone goes and obviously it can turn this way. It can rotate like 360 degrees and this thing can tilt back a little bit. So if you're recording something this way or it can tilt 90 degrees. So if you're like filming like this, it's just very handy. And then you just pop it down and like it collapses to such a small thing. My tripod that I have now that I'm actually throwing away, it's huge and it takes up so much space and it does not collapse down. So I love this. And then this also comes with a remote that is Bluetooth. So obviously if you're like recording yourself or taking pictures, you just take the remote and you can like set it up to your phone and click away and it takes pictures for you, which is so fun. And I love that it's like already compacted in here and you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, love this thing. I've been needing to get one of these for years. I just have been sleeping on it but good old Catherine Manning reminded me on her Instagram stories that I needed to get one and it is currently still 25% off right now originally it's $39.99 and it's on sale right now for $29.99 and there's also a $6 coupon so that's a good deal and then I think 
There's two more things, but I don't have them yet. I have been trying to do some, you know, like third trimester prenatal like stretching to help with labor and just to ease like my a my aches and pains and stuff like that. And the yoga mat that I have right now, I got it from Dollar General like three years ago, is so incredibly thin. It's so just pointless that I just went ahead and ordered a new yoga mat. This one is still currently on sale. Originally $20.99, um, but it's 10% off right now, which is $18.89. But then there's also a, like one of those clickable coupons that you can do another 10%. So that's a good deal. But I just got this purple one and I really like this because it's actually a foldable yoga mat. So instead of like having to, you know, roll it up or whatever, you just fold it up and it like folds away nicely, which is very nice comes in a few different colors blue pink purple red so yeah I just thought I needed me a new yoga mat because yesterday when I did my stretches my wrist was so incredibly sore all day because I think I just had no like padding or support on the floor and then lastly I got some more white chrome powder for my nails and I'm hoping this chrome powder doesn't turn some of the colors that I use blue because the powders that I have now it works for a few but if I use it on like black or brown or blue or purple like it all turns the colors blue and I don't like that so hopefully this doesn't do that TBD we'll see this is not on sale but it's like $6.89 so not bad at all so yeah that is my Black Friday purchases <laughs> went a little ham but I feel like everything I got I am going to put good use towards and I needed this was um, a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take <sighs> I'm out of breath and I need to get back to work because my lunch break is about over also the day you're watching this video well maybe not the day you're watching but the day I'm uploading Virgin River the holiday season Season is officially out. I think there's only two episodes out today, but I've already watched the first one and I'm in the middle of the second one right now. So just a little PSA that if you're watching this on Thursday, November 30th, the new holiday season of Virgin River is out today and you should go watch it because it's literally the best show ever. I just wanted to include this little segment in the vlog because one, it was short and two, I was originally going to do this, but I forgot to. So I wanted to make sure that I got it in there for you guys. If you guys are looking for gift ideas or a few good sales that are still happening, right now. Anyway, back to the vlog and I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry if you didn't. <laughs> and I'm about to make dinner I guess it's like a snack but it's probably also gonna be my dinner also this looks like poop but it's not <laughs> I dropped some of my date chocolates and stuff on it and then I had to look it up I officially finished my dates 
and I'm sad because I don't have any more dates to make anymore. I just have a few dates for the date hot chocolate that I'm gonna make tonight, I think. But anyway, yes, I'm making pancakes. I saw Catherine Manning make pancakes in her video this morning and I've just been wanting pancakes ever since. I literally just Googled on, not Googled, got on Pinterest like I always do when I need recipes or whatever and I found a pancake recipe. So hopefully it's good. But I need one and a half cups all-purpose flour. This might, might need a bigger cup. I'm currently just using a measuring glass, but I might need something bigger. Two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So I need two of those. And then a half. This is a fourth, so I need two of these. Half a teaspoon of salt. A tablespoon of sugar. I don't know why I'm not showing you what I'm doing. I'm just having you guys stare at my face, but. <laughs> One and four cups milk. Am I gonna have to get a bigger bowl? I don't want to. I like using my measuring glass. Okay, I'm not gonna be stubborn. I'll do a bowl. Egg. <gasps> Shoot. Okay. <laughs> Butter and milk. I'm making a mess. This little spatula I got at Target last vlog or two vlogs ago is like perfect. And this is the exact reason why I got it. Homemade pancakes. You guys, Jared just finished the dresser drawers and it looks so good. I am obsessed with this dresser. It is beautiful. The only thing that I would change is I would want it a little bit taller, but it's not bad. It's like 31, almost 32 inches high which is one of the highest ones we found actually. I just wish it was a little bit taller, but it's still so good. I love it. The color is absolutely beautiful. Hi, sister, hi. Did you see your sister's dresser? Yeah, it's so pretty. The drawers just pull like this. So nice. I'm obsessed. It's just gonna look so good. Look at that view. That's gonna be a vibe. That's not how we're having it set up, but just the tones of everything is so freaking adorable. date hot chocolate tonight because I just am so full. I filled up on the pancakes and I also had chocolate milk with my pancakes so like having hot chocolate just doesn't even sound appetizing right now because I basically already had it. I don't know why I did that but chocolate milk just sounded good at dinner so I'm not having my date hot chocolate tonight. But while I ate my pancakes, Jared and I watched while well, Jared finished the dresser and it's looks so good i'm so obsessed with it and i watched the new episode of fixer of fabulous and then we just sat on the couch for probably like i don't even know all night basically we watched some basketball we wrote some thank you cards for our shower did some more christmas cards and then we scrolled on like instagram i was just like showing him funny memes and stuff or like reels and now i'm coming back to bed hi sister Did you eat your dinner? I don't know if I can talk and tell you guys this. <laughs> Something I have been like so oddly obsessed with lately is brushing my tongue like clear in the back to like to the point where I'm like gonna throw up. Like it just, 
I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you know, when you have like an itch and you just like want to scratch it really bad and the more you scratch it, the more, the better it feels. That's how <laughs> brushing the back of my tongue has felt the last few weeks, which is so weird because literally first trimester, even like second trimester, brushing my teeth in general would make me gag and want to throw up. And I hated brushing my teeth, but now like I want to like make myself throw up not make myself throw up but i want to brush my teeth my tongue specifically so bad it just feels so good and i don't understand it make it make sense like i could have done that for five minutes if i wasn't gonna throw up <laughs> i don't understand also we're just gonna get a little chatty here because the vlog's kind of short which i didn't intend for it to be i just haven't been in the like vlogging mood because honestly i have been in so much pain Ever since my fall on Sunday, I just have been hurting. When I fell on Sunday, that was like the only day I hurt from my fall. And it was really only like my, you know, private area because I did the freaking splits and that hurt. But when I woke up, what's today, Wednesday? When I woke up Monday, I felt like fine. Yesterday, I think <laughs> sitting on the floor and like building that took me out because today is the worst that I felt my whole entire pregnancy. I have not been able to stand longer than like five minutes without like feeling my back is actually breaking. And then, so I go to sit down in my chair and I sit for like 10 to 20 minutes and my butt hurts so bad from sitting. And then I sit on my ball for a while and then my hips start hurt. And it's just like this constant cycle all day and it's just been, it was a hard work day today. <laughs> but I made it through and I am feeling a little better tonight. I thought that stretching this morning, which it did, it really, really felt good when I was doing it, but I think it might have, I don't know, made the pain a little more painful throughout the day. I don't know, but I loved getting up and stretching. Oh, you scared me. This morning, it just felt so nice. What I was gonna say was, I don't know how I got on that topic away from what I was gonna say. Another weird thing to go along with my weird tongue obsession is anytime I see anything like powder, like my daily greens in the morning when I was making pancakes with that flour, I crave dirt and I don't know why. <laughs> Guess my farm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys had to witness that. But yeah, I have been craving dirt and I don't understand it. When I tell people that, I'm like, yeah, I'm craving dirt. They're like, oh, you know, like dirt and worms. I'm like, no, like straight up from the ground, the earth, dirt. Don't know what it is, but it just sounds so delicious to me. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have had any weird cravings during your pregnancies because I know I'm not the only one. I know craving weird stuff like that is very common actually. So let me know what you guys have craved so I don't feel so oddball out. <sighs> I'm out of breath just doing my skincare routine. Hey, you guys have to leave room for mom. Fine. Oh, those are way on top of me. You have the most amount of room out of anybody. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna close the video out here. It's 8.56, we're going to bed. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of exciting with the new dresser getting up installed or built, whatever. But yeah, if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments, so let's chat. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Go out and make them smile. Oh, I'm out of breath.